What is up, guys? Welcome back to another amazing video. I'm Chase. I'm Brian. Oh, I'm Blake. And today, guys, we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight into it. We're gonna be very serious. Uh, if you guys don't know from the title and the thumbnail of this video, I um, stab Chase in the neck with a <laughs> knife. They touch my drum set. I touch your drum set. We are going to be telling near-death experiences. We haven't really gotten like too like. I mean, no one really says that. We're going to be telling near-death experience guys about times when we basically almost died or had literally like a, just like, close encounters. Like, it was like, not good. So Chase is going to go first and tell his experience, and then Blake will go, and then I'll go. So just, uh, whenever you're ready, Chase, how, how did you die? How did you almost die? How did you die? Yeah. How did you, you said, how did I die? Pretty much, guys, in 2011, me and my brother were on our high school football team. Oh, I just love this story. Why is this so funny to you? Because you're missing your body part now. <laughs> Tell the story. I'm not missing a body part. I played quarterback and Brian played receiver. I, you know, snapped the ball. It was during a play. Snapped the ball and I went to go throw the ball to Bryant. When I dropped back, I got hit super hard. Fell on the ground. A big guy landed on top of me. I'm not a big dude, but a bigger guy landed on top of me because my offensive line, my guard, Zario, if you're watching this, thanks, Zario, <laughs> missed his block. I got sacked. It resulted in a fumble. And of course, I got the ball. So I was laying there, and uh, one of my players came up to me and was like, are you hurt? And I was like, yeah, I'm hurt. Um, are you making fun of me, dude? No. One of the training staff ladies, Andrea, Rushed over, asked me what was happening. I was like, I, I can't breathe. I couldn't breathe. My arm was literally locked up. Um, I was in excruciating pain. And they had to cut the jersey off me and then get me off the field. I went over and sat down on the sideline. And Andrea was... You reenacted my story. No. Nah. This is serious, Blake. I almost died. I know, I know. It's terrible. It's great. Pretty much we sat on the sideline, and Andrea was like, Oh, I think you'll be fine. You know, sleep it off. You'll be good. I was like, I can't breathe. It was like the worst thing. So what happened is when I landed on my shoulder, my collarbone, my clavicle, popped inwards, literally centimeters from a main artery. And it was on my um, aorta, and it was just you know blocking my airway to breathe. And Andrea was like, "Oh, just you know, sleep it off." My mom was like, "No, I think we need to go to the hospital." So we got uh, literally left in the middle of the game, went to the hospital, went to a 24-hour clinic, and the guy was like, he did an X-ray and was like, "What are you doing here? You need to go to the hospital. This kid is literally." He literally said, like, this kid could have died. Like, you need to go to the hospital right now. So we were freaking out. My mom's freaking out, of course. Driving to the hospital. We get in the hospital. They say that my I dislocated my clavicle. Um, and they immediately put me in the uh, ER. Um, and we had to wait. I had to wait three hours for a cardiovascular surgeon to come just so they can watch them do the surgery on me just in case when they pulled it out, they hit the main artery that it was right next to, like literally centimeters next to. So my doctor, we brought me back to the ER. They brought me back into the, um, the room and they, I passed out. They did surgery on me. And then they explained later on, like if I would have, moved any wrong way when I got hit and laid down on the field, I could have moved, I could have rolled over on my my shoulder, my, my shoulder again, and I would have pretty much bled to death on the field. So it's like, that was like a really, really close, you know, near death experience that I've had. And, you know, I still play football. My mom doesn't want me to play football anymore. Still do it. Apparently, yeah, he's missing. He's I'm not missing. 
I'm he is not, missing a collarbone. Shout out Marcus Givens. I'm not missing a collarbone. There's he a is. scar right no. there. Yeah, and you missing. can't see a collarbone, can you? Yeah. No. It's, it's still there. It's, it's just, missing. It's missing. It's not there anymore. It's gone. He tells people he has it because he doesn't want to be abnormal with his abnormalities. You don't have one. I have it. They pulled it back out. Yeah, they took it. I know. They pulled it out. No, they it's gone. Pulled it couldn't it, be there anymore. They pulled it in place. Like, it was like this. <laughs> so this is my just my chest plate. My collarbone, you know, collarbone on each side. It was pushed back, like way back. They mm -hmm. pushed and then it they in. took it out because it was pushed back. <laughs> they didn't take it out, they but it out. that is my near-death experience with my collarbone in football and you know, almost dying. I've been stabbed before, but that's not what this story is about. I was in a drug dealer's room. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. His brother was a drug dealer at the time. I was like 12, 13. I didn't know that. I just wanted to watch the Spongebob movie. That's all we were in there for was the DVD player. And uh, they came in. And we're happy we were in there. And his brother's friend took out a little knife and put it up to my throat. Like right up in here. Like pushed it in. And asked me what I was doing in there. And cursed me out and yelled at me. And was threatening to kill me. And then he didn't. Because we were just watching Spongebob. And then he left. And that was it. It was my near death. Or one of my near deaths. Pretty rough. How'd that feel for you, bud? Felt alright. I was kind of scared until I realized he probably wasn't going to do it. He do said I was going to kill do you, have, you. Do you have PTSD? Not really. I play with <laughs> all the time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> 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 it was delayed fear. It was delayed fear. It just now hit him. What kind of knife was it? I don't know. It was like a knife like this big. It was like one of those knives where, you know the pocket knives that don't like, they don't flip out, but you click it and it shoots up. Like a switch blade? Kind of like a switch yeah, blade. Yeah, very... No, the switch blades, those are kind of like... No, that's a firefly. That's a firefly. Yeah, it's got a switch blade. <laughs> okay. I'll... My turn now. I almost died. Back in middle school, um, me, Chase, our buddies, um, we filmed, like, movies for... One was a class project just to do for, you know, the class. It was a movie, TV production class. Um, after we filmed that one, we did a couple more just because we liked to film. <coughs> And we entered one of them into a what was, it, what, what was it like a like a movie festival like a movie festival you know people like you make it. you make movies you know and we enter it into a movie festival and like first place you win prizes or you win like a thing and then you get like a certain like I don't know whatever it was but we entered it into a movie festival and um, well actually we didn't enter it we couldn't finish it but uh once <laughs> yeah. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Well, yeah. one scene was. Where we were doing a first person view from Chase under the bed and I got kicked through a door and the the killer was supposed to stab me. Like, you know, he kicked me through a door and was supposed to like stab me. Well, well at the time he did his job, I guess. He did do his job. At the time we didn't have our fake knife. So we're like, okay, well let's let's just use a real one. And I was like, eh I was skeptical at first, but then I was like, okay, whatever, like He's gonna just do it, you know, far away, and it was know. supposed to be. I think he just got too happy with it. I don't know. It, it was, was real. Like it was like it was supposed. To, it was supposed to be far away from my side. We had it all planned out, and I was like, okay, let's just do it. You I'm, know. I'm fine. I'm, I'm so pissed off. I'm pissed right now, actually. You idiots used a real knife. I've just, I've, I've never like broke it down in my head. You used a real knife. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't. No. The angle where we had it. Listen, <laughs> the angle where we had it was supposed, supposed to be, to be literally like, far away from it. was supposed to be literally like, right. we're running. Listen, listen, I know, I know. Use the real blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Is the problem. It's not the angle, it's not the problem listen, here, Brian. Hey, it, was okay. the right it was the fact that you would, hey, let's go in the kitchen, take me, a knife, and use that as our prop. Let me use, let me. It's like if I used me, a real gun. Just, just so it looks more real when we're aiming at each other's faces, but Chase accidentally got shot dead. All right, let me just let me explain this. So yeah, mad. We we're using a real knife, yes, a real knife, and we were idiots at time. And the time frame, this was happening from 2 a.m. It was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Like, did in the dark. This was in the morning. No, it wasn't in the dark. Oh. The lights were on in the room, yeah, but, but it was at 2. No, no this was in the room. Oh, it makes it better. Yeah. Anyway, we were in Much the room. Better. We were in the room, and this was happening around 2 to 3 in the morning, and I get kicked through a door, and we start the stabbing scene. Well, <laughs> the first time, when he went down the first time, it was good. Second time was good, and he went down a third time. And when the knife came up, there was a lot of blood on it. A lot. 
Not and fake blood. Not fake blood. And I looked at it. Oh, I looked at it, really? and I was like, "Yo, that's not like fake blood. That's that's real blood." I looked down. There was a huge gash in my side. Huge gash in my side. I had to um rush downstairs. We had to tell their parents. <laughs> their parents called my mom. My mom was freaking out at 3 a.m. Her son just got stabbed. Like, that's what they, like, it was like, hey, we're taking your son to the ER. <clears throat> he just got stabbed. My mom was freaking. We got to the ER, and any any further down, it would have ripped my muscle right here, and I probably wouldn't have been able to extend my arm up like this anymore. It would have went, because it was basically about to tear my whole muscle right here, if it went any deeper. Um, it went pretty deep in. I didn't feel it. I did not feel it when it went in. I don't know well, why. You don't. I didn't feel it. I got yeah. stabbed through my shoulder. I didn't feel it. It just went straight into my side. Like, down it feels an angle. Like it feels like Boom. nothing. feels like nothing. Like, freaking. Yeah, it just feels you like cut, and all of a sudden, it just stings and it you hurts. You cut butter. It's stupid. You cut butter with a warm knife. Just go straight through. That's what it felt like. It just went straight through. And I didn't feel anything at first. But then, like Blake just said, it starts to sting and burn. And I had to put the fake shirt, the... The fake bloody shirt we had on it, going through the ER with that was just everybody was like, you go first, you go first. So I had to sit in the ER until about eight, four hours. I was literally in there for four hours, getting stitched up, then making sure my muscle was good, making sure it didn't go deep <clears throat> enough to penetrate my heart or hit any bone. And um, it was pretty bad. Like any further, it could have messed up my muscle and I would have not been able to move my arm at all. I still have a scar to this day. It's kind of gone down a little bit, but I have a scar to this day right here. And that was my near-death experience of me almost dying and getting stabbed. Comments who's the worst? Well, mine was a sissy story. I didn't, yeah, tell, that my, was, I didn't tell my stab story. Like, that was that crazy. How did you get stabbed and you got stabbed? I got stabbed like straight down in my, through my shoulder. Dude, it doesn't feel what good being stabbed. Point? My, my friends and I were using a real knife. Sword fighting with a real knife. With real sword. Oh, with yeah. a real sword. Real sword. Yeah, wait, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. We went like so this. We were like, ting, ting. We were going slow. We were like this, standing, and we were gonna take a picture. And my friend goes, oh, trying to scare me, and I was like, what is wrong with you? And then he walked away, and I was like, Bryant, the sword had blood on it, and I was like, what is this? And then I was like, how? <laughs> I got scared. I was like, oh, he said, stab me, bud. Ken got stabbed same day. Stepped on one of the swords. Went inside, his blood everywhere. Like, he was bleeding. Look at Ken's foot split open. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. It was a terrible day. Jesus. I didn't almost die. It just hurt really bad. Gash. It was, like, that long because the katana was, like, that long. And then it went straight down in here. It went down, like, that far. Guys, comment in the comment section of any questions or who you think or concerns yeah or Chase concerns that. guys power, I have we need to get him like if you place. like if you have any comments guys. concerns questions leave it in the comment section guys about any of these like tragic stories we just want to come on here and tell you like our near death experiences yeah they're not like some other people's where they died and went like to the light and then came back but i mean still like guys Near death. Like Blake said, help me get a call about for 99 cents today. Oh god, no, for 99 you guys... cents today you can you can just put money towards the Chase Has No Friends fund. Yeah. Started that. No friends, if you want to ask on Snapchat, guys, and see the Snapchats that we did. Oh, gosh. I'll repost it, I saved it, it was funny. Down in the description, guys, you can ask on all of our social media. But, um, yeah, guys, for like, that's, a, like, we're joking about it because it's like, we're all past it and it's done, but at the time, guys, Nobody was joking about it. Me getting stabbed, it was not a joke. Chase's collarbone was not a joke. And Blake, you know, that was probably a scary experience at the time for Blake. You know, like... That was fun. I was like, 13 years like, old what's and gonna, knife to my throat. Exactly. Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> I was th being threatened death with a yeah. real blade. But we're all stupid. We're all joking about it now, guys, because we're like... Yeah, we're care. past it. We're like, over it. And it's funny. It's cool. Like, to me, it. guys... Let's do it. To me, it's cool. Like, I think it's cool now. And, like, I can say I've been stabbed, like... True. Like it's cool to me now because I can be like, yeah, I've been stabbed for like right here. Let me tell you my it story. Didn't even hurt so till later. Yeah. But can you say you don't have a collarbone? That's the real one. No, but that kind of sucks. I don't know how you move your arm as well as you do. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna sign off, guys. Thank you so much uh, for listening to our crazy stories. Again, 
we're laughing because it's whatever yeah, to us now. Yeah, we, we did a short video and a short quick video because it's Christmas time. Yeah, guys, it is Christmas. Time. This you video is going... Stuff. Guys, this video is, I know, posted after Christmas, so we want to say... Merry uh, late Christmas, guys. Um, this is happy late holidays. We can have Jewish people like us. They can oh, be true. We can happy have Hanukkah. There's yeah. happy Christmas. Let's just put it that way. Happy late so holidays, guys. <laughs> New Year's. Happy late holidays to y'all. Yeah, uh, hope y'all all coming. got the gifts that y'all wanted. Hopefully, you know, <coughs> y'all are good. And got Santa, coal. And Santa came to your house. I got coal. You did? You got coal? Yeah, I'm a bad boy. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to sign off, guys. We freaking love you. Remember, be happy. Because that's the best way. And we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time. Boom. Oh, here. I guess there's a...